to recording or work on uh, Blake. So uh, for the remainder of the semester, we'll probably be working uh, specifically with Blake. Uh, so we're going to start baby steps, and we're just going to work um, just with the, the face blend shapes. We're not going to work on any head movements or anything like that, just simple uh, head and maybe some eye movements today. All right, so uh, I took a real quick recording of myself saying hello. Uh, also, I made it into an MP3. Uh, converting this using iTunes. You can also go online and uh, find converters from WAV file or AAC file to MP3. Uh, I have tw uh, Maya 2016. Uh, 2017 may uh, do WAV files, but this one only does uh, MP3. All right, so I'll just go ahead and drag that into the timeline here and pull this back up. You'll see uh, we only have 30 frames. So uh, I say, hello, how are you doing there? Uh, so we need to stretch this out to about th 300 frames. And you can see right here you have a uh, hello there, uh, right there. So if we go and hit play, uh, you'll hear it. Uh, you can also scrub it uh, if you're trying to get uh, to smaller uh, fine points of it. Also, you can stretch this down uh, that go into these little intricate uh, phrases of the word. All right, so right now we're just going to uh, start easy. Um, and if you don't hear the sound, if you want to right click, uh, if you don't hear any sound, you're going to go to your playback uh, speed and hit real time. Go hit play. Okay, so that'll help you. Also, if you want to go into your settings, uh, make sure uh, this hit. Uh, time slider, you can hit time slider, uh, play it back speed, uh, 30 frames per second. Uh, that's pretty good, everything else is set up. Uh, but again, if you don't hear it, uh, right click and hit uh, play back speed and hit real time. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So uh, what you want to do is go ahead and start playing with the GUI. So uh, these are based on blend shapes uh, within the face, uh, but this is a GUI that is attached to the blend shape. So we have eyes. Uh, we can move around. You can see there's actually some uh, facial deformation with the eyes too. You can see the eye blinks and so forth. Uh, do a marquee over the, the eyelids. We can make them blank over here uh, and move them around. So uh, what I'm really interested in is uh, just the mouth right now. So we go to the mouth. Uh, we can make different emotions uh, with the face and also uh, with the talking. So just kind of move around. So O shape to an E shape to a, a um. So play around with it. And this is A. And then, but like I said, O and then E where the, where the, the back of the mouth uh, creates more of an E shape. So basically, uh, for this first project, you're just going to work uh, with the sink, and then later on start working with uh, the other uh, parts of the GUI. All right. So right now, let's just uh, focus on the sink, and I'm going to get you started. Basically, you're going to go ahead and close the mouth. I'll go ahead and hit uh, S so we can keyframe that. You can see that hash, just like what we did with the bouncing ball. Uh, we have a hash mark there. So let's listen to it. What is he saying? Hello. So it's almost an A shape. So it's going to go hello. I hit S for keyframe. Hello. All right. So it's going to go into more of an O shape. Oh, hello. And so we go ahead and hit S. And then we're going to wrap it up by closing up the mouth. Okay. So hit S. And let's go back. And typically you want maybe. Uh, one or two or three different uh, keyframes in here, uh, depending on the phrasing of the word. All right, let's go ahead. All right, how? All right, so let's go ahead and, and again, right before the word uh, starts, we'll hit S, keyframe that. How? How? So, uh, how? I'm doing a, how? I think I'm, a good thing to have is a mirror in front of you so you can see your own. Uh, face uh, so you can have it as a reference. So uh, this is kind of what my mouth is doing. How? How? And I'm going to just go open up to a little bit lower. S. 
Oh, yeah, hit play again. How are, so we're going to go into an A. You. Over and over, O. And then close it out right here. You can see there's no sound, so that means the mouth is uh, shut. All right, so let's go back and play. All right, how are you? So we'll keyframe it again. Close right before you. So we're going to do kind of an O, U. And I'm going to close it up to kind of an A shape. It's kind of closing, but then he moves on. How are you do doing? And we'll bring it to a little bit of an O. And we'll close it up. S for keyframe. All right, let's go back. Hit play. All right. So uh, we could have played around a lot more with that with different phrasing. But again, uh, think about having a mirror uh, in front of you so you can start working on other facial expressions. Uh, obviously, this is just a mouth, but there would be a lot of facial expressions uh, geared to an eye. But for this first one, I just want you to work with sync. And then slowly we'll start working with the other uh, attributes here. All right. Good luck.